All right, so we're gonna go ahead and start uh, playing Hogwarts Legacy. Um, so far, I just bought a wand from Ollivanders, and yeah, let's go ahead and get started. This is my character, Jibby Jab. I'm in Slytherin. Who else thinks Slytherin is the best house? Harry Potter. Okay, let's see what I was doing. Visit Tom's. Um, do I have a path? No path available. Tom's and Scrolls, a special seed bookshop with wares that fulfill the promise of its name. Hold on, I need to get my glasses. I'm going to in. I'm going to invest in a uh, a camera just so you can see my dog Phoenix. He just follows me wherever I go. This. Oh, just. Hello there. Hello there. Little kitty. Good kitty. Good kitty. I'm surprised. I haven't met a cat that turned into Professor McGonagall. Who remembers that part where uh, in the very first Harry Potter, the Sorcerer Stone, where Professor McGonagall just uh, turns into a cat or turns to a cat into, well, transforms from a cat to her human self. Well, Leviosa. <laughs> An inquiring mind. Nice bookstore, eh? Let's go ahead and try to find uh, that book from the Chamber of Secrets where he where he writes in, and Tom Riddle responds. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the spellcrafts Professor Weasley ordered. Matilda, student. I thought I might be seeing you soon. I am the proprietor here, Thomas Brown. I take it you've had a conjuring lesson then. I'm afraid I haven't. I really thought before I playing this game, I really soon. thought that the characters were going to be the same names and the same characters from the actual movies. Out of nothing. Of course, it is not without complexity, but that is where my spellcrafts come in. Stay the course. And you could soon impress even Professor Weasley. That certainly is something to aspire to, Mr. Brown. I look <laughs> when to when I met Professor I Weasley in the very beginning it. of this game, I really thought it was going to be one of Ron Weasley's parents. Pieces of furniture or Ron. Ron. That would have been great. Professor Weasley do the teaching. For now, let's get the spell crafts you need. A potting table and Phoenix. a station. Yes? I believe so, sir. Good. Nothing like being able to grow your own. What are you doing? Know what you want, when you want. Let's have a look. Let's look at what we have, shall we? Hmm. Small potion station spellcraft unlocks the ability to conjure a small potion station, perfectly suited to all of your potion brewing needs. Potting table with a small spellcraft unlocks ability to conjure a potting table with a small pot. Use its pot to grow all sorts of useful magical plants. Hmm, do I want plants or do I want brewing needs? Maybe I'll go ahead and brew. Nothing like finding just the right thing, is there? 
I don't know how much money I have on 92. How much is this? Oh, I guess I can buy this too. If you're interested, feel free to take a look around at the rest of my inventory. Well, I don't even know if I have any money. Yeah. But beast feeder spellcraft unlocks the ability to conjure a beast feeder and based on make your beast are kept bed. Hmm. Cool. Let me know if there's anything else I can do to help. But how do I uh Let's look use at what it. we have, shall we? Oh no. No 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 no. Anything no. else I can do to help. Let's go ahead and look around. What happens if I use my wand on the picture? <laughs> Hold on. Nah, it doesn't even move. Uh. Cool. Let me see here. Visit J. Pippin's potions. Let's just go ahead and look around. Am I able to go in here? No, I can't even go in here. Mm -hmm. So all these buildings are like locked. Level two lock. Oh, a rat! <laughs> Try to kill the rat. Hmm. Could interact with it. What was this, butterbeer? J. Pippin's potions. So let's look for a potion. J. Pippin's potions. An apothecary, apothecary that carries a wide selection of potions and potions ingredients. Of potions and potions ingredients. So it's telling me to go this way. Oh, well, I was close by. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> That's insane. My bad, Kitty. Welcome to JP and It's pretty cool. Let me look around here. I'm looking for an owl. Oh, what was that? Oh, that's awesome. Perry Pippin. Pardon me, sir. Oh, thank goodness. When I heard the bell, I thought you were Miss Lawang. Not that she deigns to come here. Though, I don't believe I've seen your face here before, either. It's my first time in Hogsmeade, actually. Is it really? Well, Perry Pippin at your service. And this is J. Pippin's Potions. Potions for all ailments. You'll have it on the sign, of course, but Grandfather always made me say it in full. Ah, 
How may I help you today? Professor Weasley sent me to collect some recipes. I need puppies. <coughs> sure, the student. She sent the owl on it. I set your things aside immediately. I suspected if you're anything like I was at your age, you'd want your potion supplies. Is it not the most fascinating art potion making? Rivals anything you can do with a wand, I've always said. A potion's really that versatile. They may not be as showy as spell work, but make no mistake, they are just as powerful. They can heal, destroy, protect. You'll discover all of this soon enough. As it's your first time in, I should mention that it's not just potion recipes I sell. I also offer ready-made drafts for all manner of uses, and I unveil new ones from time to time. Pop in when you can so you don't uh, miss out on anything. Hmm? But for now, let's get you those recipes, shall we? What can I do for you today? Recipe for a healing potion. Recipe for a potion that causes a rocky film to develop on the consumer's skin, helping to protect him from harm. So, either one will work. Healing potion. A wise decision. Thank you. Well, tell me to buy both. Feel free to take a look at the rest of my inventory. Or come back another time if you're in a rush today. Schwinder eggs. I wonder if I can buy this. It would appear that you don't have enough for that. Oh, okay. I hope to see you again. Farewell for now. How do I see what I bought? Some challenges, collections, inventory. Quest items. Over right here. We'll see you again soon. Let me play, why don't you? I'm about to hit that ball, hold on. Is it raining? Oh, it's raining. Oh, this is the joke. This is the magic. Oh, it's awesome. Remember this? This is from the movie. This is awesome. Temper in a bottle. The Hogsmeade station. Something right here. Don't push. Oh, that's funny. If 
visit the magic neat. Wait, what is it? it? Has like a hat on it or something. No, is it this one? The magic neat. Hogs meat supplier of fresh produce seeds and fertilizer. Isn't it weird it spells fertilizer wrong? Oh. Oh, I can't grab it. Here. Where do I get that paper? I forgot how to grab it. for the new fifth year. <laughs> I take it that's you then. Merlin's beard. Starting on Hogwarts is a fifth year. You must be positively reeling from it all. Not at all. I'm choosing to see it all as one big adventure. Well, bravo. Not everyone has the temperament to take things as they come. Name's Timothy Teasdale, by the way. And this is my shop, the Magic Neat. I keep the cart out here because I like a good chat. Can't very well be in the thick of things if I'm hidden away inside now, can I? I suppose not. In addition to seeds, I have plenty of plants. Grow everything myself. My speciality is potion ingredients. Even Pippin purchases from me. But what say we get you a packet of Dittany seeds? Dittany seeds? You're after something fresh. Unlocks the ability to grow dittany in small pots. Do have a look around. Plenty of ingredients to pique your interest, I'd wager. Well, that's everything. Oh, I could I buy these ingredients. <laughs> Healing properties. These, these are key ingredients in Wigan Well Potion. Mmm. Cool. No one can say I don't keep a stack shelf. Meet Sebastian at the town circle. Hagrid's house. Prisoners die in Azkaban Hagrid. all the time. They simply lose the will to live. Does anyone know a bit of it? Prisoners of Azkaban? We'll try to hit that. Brother Sebastian. I officially have all of my supplies. Excellent. Did you get what you needed for your sister? I did. So I suppose the world is our oyster now. Let's see what else we can get up to. True honey dudes. Is this? Draw away from the 
Keep dodging. Damn. Leviosa. Goodness, a second troll. Did you two take on a fully grown troll by yourself? Oh, that was a troll from the first one. Remember when Hermione uh, was getting attacked or attempted to get attacked by the troll from the very first movie? The making of an aura, if you ask me. If you are unharmed, perhaps the two of you wouldn't mind helping me put a few things back to where they were. Of course, Officer. Singer. Officer Singer. And thank you, again. Bridget. Repair the damage. I'll go and see what she wants. I'll go too. What the heck? Must not be talking to me, eh? Repair the damage. Let me see. All this. 
I should use the mending charm that Professor Ronan taught me to help repair that much of the troll. The mending charm. I'd use the mending charm. One last thing for Officer Singer to worry about. Hmm. Where's it repairing? Or right there? Oh, pretty good. Speak to the shoekeeper. Trying to figure out how to do this. Just singing your praises. Prepare. Hello, sir. I don't believe we've met. Allow me to introduce myself, Augustus Hill. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is. I'd like to thank you for your remarkable bravery in fighting those trolls, and not to mention your help restoring Hogsmeade to its rightful state. I was happy to help. Frankly, you deserve an order of Merlin. But I can offer you something much more useful. I own Gladrag's wizard wear, and among my inventory are some unique items that afford certain protections, as it were. Life-saving protections. And as I suspect this won't be your last dangerous encounter, I'd like to give you one such set of robes. In thanks for what you did today. Thank you, Mr. Hill. That's very generous of you. It's the least I can do. Uh, now, now, let's try this on for size, shall we? Plenty for your perusal today. Take your time. How do you clip it? Oh, your screen. No.
I suspect you have a sharp eye for fashion. I'd say we've earned a butterbeer or two, wouldn't you? Might help me forget that I was almost pulverized by a troll. I'd say that I agree with you. Perfect. The three broomsticks is just this way. Hey! I say the more battle-worthy items, should you be inclined, you're most welcome to peruse my shop at your leisure. Oh, shoot. said you could get to the charm when they came to Hogsmeade, that all you needed was a distraction. I gave you a distraction. I just watched a student take down your distraction. Who is this child? What are you not telling me? All you need to know is that if you cannot get to the charm, then you have no value to me. They see us. I don't think so. What was that goblin doing with Victor Rookwood? Ranrock is working with Rookwood. The goblin from the Daily Prophet. I knew I'd seen him somewhere. Quickly, let's get inside the three broomsticks. It's a treat to see you, Lord Gog. I shall let you know if I hear anything. Thank you, Serona. You be well. Now, what can I... Oh, there's a face I haven't seen before. It's my first time here. Welcome. Butterbeer's on me. Mmm, Butterbeer. Heard about the attack. I shall be looking in on the other shopkeepers and residents shortly. Glad to see you two escaped injury. Thanks to this one. Single-handedly took down a troll. Is that right? Well done. Thank you for this. My pleasure. I will say... Trolls in Hogsmeade. That's never happened before. It's kind of weird. That's not right. The only brutes we usually have to deal with. Oh. Yeah. That's how I mean. Was that lot clock I saw leaving just now? Your clientele's not what it used to be, Serona. Not to worry, Victor. Once the two of you leave, the caliber of my clientele will greatly improve. I wouldn't do that if I were you, Theophilus. Come now. No need for theatrics. I'm only here for this one anyway. My friend is enjoying a well-earned butterbeer. Only want a quick one. Perhaps you didn't hear me. I said, my friend is busy. One would think you all had enough bloodshed for one day. Come, Theophilus. The three broomsticks isn't what it used to be. Let's take our galleons elsewhere. Can't drink butterbeer forever. Seems you've made an unfortunate enemy. Watch your back. Rookwood and Harlow are worse than any troll you might encounter. Trolls? Ranrock and Rookwood? What are you not telling me? I promise to tell you everything. But it's perhaps best I do that later. Shoot. And on that note, I think we should head back to the castle.
Three broomsticks. Remember? I don't know if you've been to Universal just yet, but the three broomsticks. It's kind of reminds me of Thanksgiving food. Pumpkin juice. Oh, well, it's already dark. Crazy. I'm certainly glad Sorona was there. Told you she was one of the good ones. I can see that. She didn't seem at all intimidated by Rookwood and Hollow. I think you'll need to tell me why Victor Rookwood has you in his sights. But we can talk later. For the moment, we should return to the castle. Professor Weasley's certain to hear about the troll attack soon if she hasn't already. Don't want to risk another detention for getting back after hours. Select the Hogwarts map, and then fast travel to the common room. Quest, open quest log. All posts will be sent on characters you may have requests or updates for you. Select like Professor Fate to see his all post. Come and see me. I've discovered something in the locket we found at Green Gloss. My owl read mail. But where is he at?
really mastered that one, haven't you? I like to listen to what the other people are saying. Castle's big. be a clue. I should look around in case it's nearby. It's a staircase on that ball. Or Central Hall.
This looks like the location from the painting. What could be so special about it? Don't get two cookies simply because you had one victory over Salad. He never backs down from a fight. If only a new student would help. Professor Fig, as if my schedule wasn't congested enough, the Ministry has charged me with arranging the rather inconvenient arrival of a new student at Hogwarts. A fifth year, if you can believe, Professor Beasley insists that they will need an escort and a mentor to help them acclimatize before the term begins. I don't even know if I said that right. I have assigned the task to you. Please see Professor Beasley for details. Professor Phineas Jealous Black, Headmaster. Well. Professor, I'm glad to see you. And I you. Thank Merlin you're in one piece. I heard about the attack. Trolls in Hogsmeade? Sir, the trolls were wearing armor. It had that dark glow, like the dragon collar. Goblin silver! Ranrock used it to control the dragon. But how? And why send trolls to... They were there because of me. I overheard Ranrock talking with... Victor Rookwood. Ranrock was in Hogsmeade with Rookwood. The trolls were Ranrock's distraction so that Rookwood could get to me. And he would have, had Sarona and the patrons at the Three Broomsticks not intervened. This is great news indeed. If Ranrock's goblins and dark wizards are after you, they want what we found in that vault. Speaking of the vault, do you think that Ranrock is working with any of the goblins at Gringotts? I do not. Gringotts goblins aren't typically the friendliest of beings, but they have a great deal of integrity. No, I dare say after what happened to that poor banker, the goblins at Gringotts are no followers of Ranrock. They're after the locket. You said you discovered something in it. Yes, yes. I discovered an inscription. When I read it aloud, this map appeared. Clever enchantment. It's a map of Hogwarts, to be sure, but I do not know where it leads. It leads to the library, the restricted section to be precise, and a bit beyond. I see traces of magic there on the map. I suspected you would see something. Shall we go? I appreciate your enthusiasm, and I'm eager to discover what we may find there as well. But if our experience at Gringotts, let alone what happened to Miriam, taught me anything, it's that the path we're on is terribly dangerous. I'd like you to work with Professor Hecate a bit before we continue. But sir, how dangerous could the library be? Perhaps we're only after a book. Perhaps we are only after a book. But we should be prepared for anything. Once you've honed your defensive magic further, come and see me. I'll let Professor Hecate know to expect you. Oh, 
I wonder if I can save it. I'm getting kind of tired, so I'm gonna end it here.